Well, welcome everyone this evening to a very special night. We are going to be talking about the new Zango Eris line recently launched at an international convention in Las Vegas that has a lot of people excited and buzzing because this product line is not just for baby boomers, but it's for anyone who wants to take control of the hands of, of time and, and look young. And interestingly enough, the demographics are faceless today, but the 20-something year olds are the largest demographics, <laughs> whether they're 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s or baby boomer years or beyond. We've got something that's pretty darn exciting. So I want to thank you all for your time. I really appreciate the time that you're investing tonight to take a look at this product line and this business opportunity. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the company behind it first. Zango International is a 13-year-old company that has amazing things, starting with a juice that they launched in 2002, which sold a billion dollars in the first five years alone. Now that building a billion dollar brand was faster than many, many other companies like Starbucks and Apple and Dell and Microsoft and Nike and so many others that do more than a billion dollars a year today. But that's the kind of company we're in. Zango is a record breaking company that has launched some amazing product lines and currently has solutions in more than 40 nations with different that they have launched. But we're talking about today this cosmeceutical market that, and this uh, anti-aging product line that we have just launched because this market potential alone, 2003 was a $4.2 billion market, but it is predicted to go nearly $300 billion by the year 2017. And that's what Zanko is about. We offer solutions to problems and we also offer financial and this new product line we believe is going to be the next billion dollar brand with Zango. The three key products that we're going to let Dr. Templeman tell you all about, a collagen, an iGen renewal concentrate, which if you use 50% of people are noticing some dramatic results in just days with fine lines and wrinkles, under eye bags, deep wrinkles, dark circles, discoloration, dull uneven texture, and dryness. As a matter of fact, 86% of people notice dramatic results in just weeks, and 98% of people after three months are noticing some significant improvements in their eyes. And not only are they noticing the improvements, but around them is they become walking billboards, and people start asking them, what are you doing and where can I get it? And the opportunity comes in. We've got some products that are priced individually or together. You can get it in a pack for just $175. If you look at the competition out there to take uh, to buy products that would be similar as far as the results go, you'd spend three hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars, and you'd probably get the toxins and chemical ingredients that actually cause more harm than good the longer that you use it. And we actually have this pack for one hundred and thirty-five dollars wholesale. That's what our distributors pay. That's what our customers, our preferred customers, on automatic delivery pay. So it's extremely exciting. Now, we have a couple of different packs. We have a two-pack system for $249.99. You could use it if there's two members in your household, or you could retail one and get your product cost for just $75. Or we have a five-pack system for just $615.99, and a 10-pack system for just $1,199. All those prices include shipping and handling, which was very exciting. Now, let me just tell you from a business standpoint, you could fastest pack, you're on the fastest track to success. With these 10 systems, you can use one personally, one for a test kit or a spouse or another retail, but you'll find out that as you share these products with other people, some people are just going to want to be customers and you can retail to them. Some will see the business opportunity and want to get involved. Those that come in with the 10 pack, we recommend that you give them a gift. If you do so, that's basically like sharing your commission with your brand new distributor, and it's a great way to get started. For people who choose to come in with a 10-pack, the average results are they're going to retail four, give away four to the people who come in as a business builder, and end up with their two plus their gift, so three systems for free, and put $500 profit in their pocket. And just getting started. We do have all kinds of systems to be able to duplicate that success and hit ranks very quickly. We have systems and tools with a Zango back office that allows you to share presentations and videos and messages and a full contact manager and a tax tracking application that will allow you to track your tax deductible uh, expenses that will save the average family three to five dollars a year on their taxes. 
We have smartphone apps that will allow you to share the business as well. We've got individual replicate websites that are all custom to you that will allow people to share and purchase the Zango products. We have a compensation plan unlike anything else out there in the There's way too many to even describe to you, but I will let you know you will need to ask the person who invited you to the webinar to get you a compensation plan training video so you can learn about our customer bonuses and our distributor bonuses and how you can earn in a global bonus pool um, from the very early ranks and beyond. But the one thing I do want to say about it is our compensation plan pays out 50%. We're part partners with our company. Why is that? Because the majority of companies out there pay up to 50% or as 50%. But Zango is one of the only companies in the industry that actually pays out 50% Average in the industry of all together, average them up is 32 to 36 percent. What does that mean for you? It means Zango pays more money. When we become a billion dollar a year, and we're on track to not only do that, but to be the fastest company to ever do that, we'll pay out a half a billion dollars a year in commissions. Company, 320 million. So. We have an opportunity. We have the products lines. All you have to do is make a decision. This is something you want to do, and we will reward you for building volume. You look for teammates. You look for people who want more. And as you sponsor new distributors and new customers and help them build teams of their own, you can start qualifying through the ranks where you can begin to earn a few hundred dollars a month, a few thousand dollars a month, figures a month or more depending on the kind of income goals that you have. So the sky's the limit with Zango. It's up to you. I'm not going to give any kind of guarantees as to income, but I will say this. Since Zango has started, they've helped more than 140 families earn more than a million dollars in their Zango career. And more exciting than that is the 170,000 people earning 1,000 a month or more, and the 250,000 people earning $500 a month. Zango has income at all the levels, not just the rich and the poor. Plus, they give you two trips every single year that you can start to qualify for the day you sign your distributor application. Our next trip is in February 2016 at the Now Sapphire Resort at the Riviera Cancun. Very exciting from the moment you sign up. As you sponsor new customers and distributors and share these products, you'll start to earn points for qualifications on that trip. So find out more about that. It isn't really about more money. The real goal is about living life on your own terms. In Zango, we've had people earn more than a million dollars in the first 10 years. And like I mentioned, it's over 140 families now. But for those of us who have done it in the past, we did it. We created the system. We've, we created the track for you to run on. We've got the tools. we got the product all in place. We're in momentum. And all you need to do for your generation in Zango is pick up that torch and run. Now we're going to turn over to Dr. Frederick Templeman. Dr. Templeman has been with Zango since the very beginning. He's known the, the, uh, many of the owners of this company. They went to uh, turn to him uh, years ago to ask him to take a look at this mangosteen fruit. Mangosteen fruit you'll see is a key uh, product and ingredient in most of our products. And for really good reasons, Dr. Templeman studied that fruit. He discovered there's such great benefit to it. We'll let him talk about that as well as these products that he actually gave up a practice that he had over 20 years of clinical experience in, board certified as a primary care physician both the U.S. and Canada, and is now today the world's leading authority on the mango steamed fruit. So Dr. Templeman, tell us about this amazing Eris product line. Thank you very much, Carly. Well, it's wonderful to be with you again and to talk with you about product that's out there. Uh, just to situate a little bit about where I sit and who I am, I'm a primary care physician and I was educated in Canada but I have practiced both in Canada and in the U.S. Currently I uh, have a professional position as the medical director of a couple of medical spas here in Utah but I spend a my time in Asia talking with the people who continue to investigate the mangosteen because there are uh, universities, schools of medicine, schools of pharmacy, and sometimes faculties of chemistry, for example, that are investigating principally the group of phytochemicals contained uniquely in the mangosteen called the xanthones. Now, there's not that's not the only group of uh, very 
things elaborated by this fruit, there are five major families represented in quantitatively and qualitatively in a way that makes this fruit rather unique amongst all the others, which is why my partner a long time ago, Dr. Morton, uh, called it a super fruit. But the fact is that in 21 countries, there are people currently studying the mangosteen xanthones. And the reason that they're doing this is not because are in the supplement business. The university schools of pharmacy and schools of medicine are in the drug business. And when they examine natural products, they are looking to try and find some active ingredient with such impact in the fruits and the, the other sources that they look at that they will be able to synthesize that and to make a drug out of it. Now, to give you an idea about the difference between the mangosteen and some of the things around for a long time. Aloe vera has been commercially distributed around the world for very close to 50 years now. It's uh, pretty much a household word in North America. Everyone recognizes what it was. And uh, originally, it was a natural product that the Indians of the southeast United, southwestern United States used to use for a number of, for a number of uh, medical applications. Now it's grown around the world and it is used in different products. But in all the time that the scientists have looked at the aloe vera, and by the way, their interest is waning, they have never found a compound, to my knowledge, that has been synthesized and made into a drug. So when you start to look at the modern impact, and we can look at the historical and I'll talk about that in a minute. But when you look at the modern impact of a supplement, what really makes it stand out amongst all the others is somebody has made a drug out of it. Now, the Japanese have already made a drug out of two of the xenthones, the alpha mangosteen and the gamma mangosteen, in combination, have uh, been made into a drug called anazanthone. The Chinese have already stated in their research that it is their intention to make an anti-cancer preparation. The uh, Italians recently synthesized a number of the lesser known xanthones, and the only reason to bother synthesizing something is to be able to put it in a commercial product like a drug. And so when you look at the mangosteen, you see that Americans are interested, the Europeans are interested, Asian uh, faculties of medicine in China and in Japan actively creating drugs. The Thais have already got three products marketed, uh, the control of acne, which are uh, based in the mango state. But really, something that's very different than most other drugs. I'm not, most other uh, supplements come from nature. Uh, we call them botanical. And when you look at all of the other botanicals, I am not aware of a single botanical that has ever been investigated to make a drug that would look after two or three different problems in the body. But that's the case with the mangosteen. There are drugs that are anti-inflammatory, a Japanese drug. I know that the Americans and the Chinese are looking at anti-cancer preparations potentially that they could develop from this fruit. So it really is quite outstanding. And, and back in 2004, after I had been able to use the commercial form of the mangosteen here in North America with my patients, I, I had used it for about two years at that time. I confidently made the prediction that I thought it was going to be the most popular of any of botanicals that were used in the supplement industry, and I believed that it would eventually surpass aloe vera. Now, that's happening because as the interest wanes in some of these other botanicals, which can stimulate the interest of scientists to try and look for an active that might be converted into a drug after people start talking about their anecdotes experiences and after using products, then almost immediately there is a waning of interest in that particular source, the Golgi berry, for example, not very much interest going on with the Golgi berry, because the scientists who have 
found that the things they were looking for, they didn't find. But with the man, the things that the scientists are looking for, they are finding. And as a result, there is an increasing positive feedback cycle, like a snowball rolling down a hill, that when the scientists find what they are looking for, it generates more interest amongst other scientists, and they are drawn to in order to be able to find what it is that's unique about this particular botanical. So enough said about that, and let's talk about the most recent product release of the Zango company. They are a mangosteen company, and the basis of this product, like the basis of most of their products, all except one, is the mangosteen. And I'm not going to go into tonight about the ingredients of the various uh, elements that are the three products. What I would rather do is to kind of explain the logic medically, why they have been designed, and what to expect from when we start to look at them. Now, today I was at my grandson's school. He's in grade five, and uh, they had a little performance, and I found myself the lone male amongst perhaps maybe 50 women. Sitting with my daughter and uh, myself were three uh, young mothers. They were in their, I would say some of them were in their mid-30s, some of them were in their early 30s. Their children had just gotten into were all very trim and thin, and uh, mother and her friends spend a lot of time in the gym. So it was easy to see that they cared about how they looked. And since the launch of this product, I have seen eyes a little bit more closely than I had before. And I noticed that these young women, excellent physical condition, still had they still had problems already developing around their eyes. In one case, it was very obvious bags, less obvious bags, but there was the drooping and the folding in the skin. Another lady, not so much bagging, but she had crow's feet. And it showed me what I had always believed, which is that the very first signs of visible aging occur around the eyes because of the soft tissues that are involved, the fat which is positioning the eyeball and cushioning the eyeball against trauma sits in the orbit, and as the collagen or the structural matter holds this fat in place, breaks down under the influence of free radicals, under the influence of contaminants in the environment, and also the the sun, then the collagen drops in its quantity and its and the fat leaks out and that's where those little bags come from. So let's talk a little bit about because it is the targon, the target tissue for this collagen, if you want to think of it, it could be compared to pearls. Pearls that could be uh, strung together in a small number to make an earring or strung together in a large number to make a necklace. So each one of those pearls is an amino acid. And the amino acid is the building block of all protein. So a single pearl or amino acid exists combined to make something called a peptide, which is a precursor to a protein. And then when you put them together, particularly the collagen fibrils, they are twisted around each other so that two identical strands have a strand holding them. And it becomes very much like a twisted steel cable. Another comparison could be the actual rebar that exists. Could we hit that next slide? The, uh, this is a picture of a tendon, but here's the, the collagen that is in the skin holding the structures which are soft, the ground tissue and the fat and the uh, other elements that are there to hold water and to give elasticity. They are laid down in that soft tissue matrix very much like rebar is in because you couldn't build a building of concrete and expect that it was going to withstand the stresses 
something inside that was going to keep it there. Now, with the process, and by the way, the age is not a disease process, but like disease, doctors are always happy when someone comes in before they are in the throes of a very serious illness. They come in early because they have noticed something changing in their body, some of the signs and the symptoms that indicate that things may be going wrong, and at that Time, it's relatively easy for the doctor to coach them in lifestyle changes or perhaps to provide some assistance in the form of a drug to be able to make a difference in a preventive way. Now, most of us don't pay attention to things until we are really in the throes of a problem. But if you think that aging begins only when you're 40 and 50, you're absolutely wrong. We sort of peak in our late 20s, and after we have come to an age of fertility, nature treats us a little bit like salmon. They're not terribly interested, not terribly interested in our welfare after we've been able to reproduce and get the next generation on its feet. So in our we begin to have a deterioration of the structural components of skin. And when you look at what happens, the structure collagen, which holds the skin in place, gives it its elasticity with a couple of other tissues that are very important as well, and then a couple of others, they then begin to change under the effect of constant exposure to the environment and the exposure to gravity. Now, I was that same uh, grandson has a younger brother, and I was sitting and showing him pictures of myself when I was at university. And he was looking at the picture that I have that shows robes on at graduation as I left medical school. And uh, I was 40 years of age at that time. I, I couldn't decide what I wanted to be early enough in life, so I had to start doing it later. But nonetheless, he was looking at that picture, and then he was looking at me, and he said, who's the person in the picture? And I said, that's me. And he looked, and he looked back at the picture, and then he looked at me and said, that's not you, Grandpa. That doesn't look like you. And I said, really, that's me. And he said, well, you're different now. And I said, yes, I am. What are the differences? And so he touched my eyes and he touched my forehead. And then he reached down and under my chin, I've got this little wattle that people have. And he kind of grabbed it. And he said, Grandpa, if that's you, you're melting. And that's a very, very good allegorical example of what really happens because the force of gravity pulls us downward. The response to gravity is the structural components of the skin and of the underlying tissues, principally collagen. And so when the collagen is degraded, we actually are pulled down gravity. And uh, statistically, we lose approximately 1% of the uh, tension in our skin and literally of some of the ground substance that gives our skin its strength and the, the tissue tension. We lose that 1% per year starting in the 20s. So if you're in your late 20s or if you're in your 30s or if you're to your 50s and it's never too late to start to different. So if you're like me and 60 looks young, then you can still do to make a difference. And what do you do? Well, if the collagen is breaking down and you want to make a difference with it, the first thing that you need to do is to supply the or the amino acids, the pearls on the strings of the collagen in order to make certain that there is an ample supply that your body can make use of, and that is where the collagen drink will 
but it was not taken from uh, bovine collagen. It was not taken from porcine collagen. It was not taken from chicken collagen because, unfortunately, we share terrible diseases with all of those other animals. And uh, if there is a possibility that something sourced from those sources could have a problem that would be so small, perhaps a virus, that we may not be able to detect it or the suppliers may be sloppy and something will happen. So there's a risk of infection and disease. For that reason, the Zango company in developing their product decided to collagen, which is taken, the amino acids are taken from fish skin. We don't share any diseases that I'm aware of with fish. And so by sourcing the amino acids, which by the way, as individual pearls are exactly the ones that we require in order to be able to use as building blocks for collagen, we source it from a place that isn't dangerous. And that is relatively inexpensive, although the product itself is certainly not without quality and top quality. Nonetheless, they're sourced with the very best idea in mind, first from the point of view of what are we getting, and secondly, how much is it going to cost us. So the collagen is taken internally, systemically, and we take it in a supplement for two reasons, because as our skin is on the outside, so does our uh, gut age on the inside, and we are unable to absorb with the same kind of efficacy as we age the elements that go into our bowel from our food. And so given the fact that there is a declining ability to carry the good things across the gut and into the body's blood circulation where they can be made available for the structural repair functions in the body, then you have to present more of the good stuff in order to be able to make certain that a quantitatively larger amount will be the gut be in the bloodstream. Now, there is also an eye cream, and the eye cream is intended to do two things. One, it is supposed to be able to carry some of the things that the skin requires for the actual action of the collagen across the skin topically. These are antioxidants, and there's a large number of them. They're micronutrients, which are things like vitamins, requires. And then there are indeed structural things that are peptides. And these peptides can be uh, proteins that are going to be either signaling molecules or they can be structural elements. That is put on the skin because a good deal of it can be absorbed directly into the skin. But in addition to that, the elements which are in this cream signal to the rest of the body that there's some reconstruction going on here. It's kind of like hammering in a fifth floor walk-up in New York City where someone is taking out the lath and the plaster and is putting in a new wallboard and uh, changing everything in there to make it modern and more hospitable and habitable. So that's what happens. Aging is such a slow process that the body doesn't see it as trauma. And therefore, the kinds of elements such as the stem cells, which are circulating in our blood, are not called to the of damage around the eyes because it happens that the body doesn't notice it. Ergo, in the cream, there are signaling that are going to say, we're reconstruction here so that the things which you have taken in, the amino acids which you have systemically in the collagen drink, will be able to call, be brought to the fore, just like the foreman on the fifth floor walk up, leaning over from the stairwell and yelling to the people carrying the wallboard, hey, it's up here. That's where the work is going on. And they walk up the, the fifth floor to, to be able to get to the construction site. So that's what the cream does, essentially. Now, it also tends to be able to help, along with the collagen drink, 
about five things that go wrong in the eye. First of all, there are fine lines and wrinkles, and this represents a fold of skin. And as you can imagine, underneath those folds, there is a groove, and that groove goes down right of the skin structures, and it represents a breakdown of the collagen which was previously there when there were wrinkles. And so when you start to use topical and a systemic resupply of the elements that are there, and you draw the body's attention to the repair that is going on, then you get a very distinct reduction in these fine lines and wrinkles. It's not the only thing that it does. It's also an under eye bag and deeper wrinkles that are an accumulation of fat that used to be behind the eyeball rolling out into the soft tissue which no longer has the collagen in it and under the effect of gravity hangs there in the skin. This can be helped because the skin will firm and tighten as you put the structural materials back in that the body needs to repair the damage that is going on. Now, in addition to that, skin can be dull. It can lose its uh, coloration so that very often you talk about not only bags under the eyes, but the discoloration that is there as well. And if you think about it, it sometimes looks almost like bruising, even though no trauma has taken place. What has happened that is as the collagen breaks down and the structures are no longer as integral as they once were, then the blood leaks out from the smallest uh, vessels, the capillaries, into the tissues, and most of it gets picked up and taken back, but the pigments, the hemoglobin, the biliverdin, and the bilirubin, which are found in the blood, and which carry their pigments, and which carry their colors with remain there. Now, you want that's going to be able to up those things to mobilize them and to take them away. And when you look at the elements that are in the heiress, I think we have a slide here. That's the one. These, uh, on the left-hand side, on the extreme left-hand side, you see a neutral solution that doesn't have any of the ingredients of the heiress cream in it. Now, then you look on the right-hand side and you see a gradual strengthening from right to left of the elements which are in the cream and which mobilize and pick up and bind these pigments that are giving the discoloration so that over time and with patience you will see that the body is going to strive to get rid of what shouldn't be there in the first place and the discoloration will improve. Next slide. Now when you have dull uneven texture if you look at a baby's skin, it's very, very smooth. It's full of moisture, and it's very elastic. And when you break down these structures that are there and that provide for that kind of youthful appearance of skin, then you see that the elasticity drops. There are fine lines. You see the pouching that we're talking about. And looking at the that have been done, they show that Proper use of the product over a reasonable period of time provides very visible improvement in the kind of dull and uneven texture that our skin can acquire from the aging process. Now let's go down once more. Now, hydration is also something else that is important. Holding water in the skin is extremely important, but water clusters around particles that hold it osmotically in position. When you break down the collagen and when the ground substance and the elastin begins to break down, you lose this osmotic pull and water no longer the skin really truly does look as if it is dry and flaky and the surface is no longer the way it was. When you use the product appropriately, there is a measurable difference showing over time that you can actually restore some of the osmotic pull so that 
which comes into the body and into the skin will stay there rather than passing through the skin and evaporating or being pulled back into the circulation because the osmotic pull in the tissues is no longer like it was before. So these are the five major things that you can expect to see. Now let me talk about the gel just for a moment. Most of us are really interested in seeing an immediate change. And when you use this gel, and by the way, this gel or forms of it, uh, different ones that we have, have existed now for approximately five years. But Zango did not jump into that marketplace or that market space because there were a number of intrinsic problems with the first products that were out. First of all, they contained many elements that no one should be putting on their skin at any time in any quantity. And they also provoked allergic reactions in a large of the people who used them, up to 35 and 40 percent in some cases. And so they kept watching the market. They kept talking with the formulators who were involved in the industry producing these kinds of tightening products. And when it appeared that they could source healthy and effective to be able to pull the skin tight in such a way that wrinkles just temporarily disappeared in a cosmetic effect. They used that uh, in their product so that when you go out in the evening or if you're working, you're interested in seeing a change in the way your eyes look immediately and there's something that you can see and that others can remark upon, then you use that eye gel. Now, I had a question the other day about whether the eye gel should be put on before the cream, and the answer to that is not in my opinion. The eye gel is really a kind of a coating that pulls the skin tight, cleans on the surface of it, to hold it in position for many hours. And provide a covering to the skin that would make it relatively impermeable to the cream. So the cream should go on before the gel. The gel is used when you want to see a difference in the appearance of your eyes for some social function when you want to be out in public. Now, those are the three elements. They have been combined uh, together to make a whole product that provides the supplementation internally and systemically of the amino acids that are required to build up collagen and to restore the structures of the ground substance to be able to do the very best that we can to help our body regain the health that it constantly needs to get. It's the old idea of give your body what it needs and it will solve most of the problems that it faces. That's as true for the skin as of the other areas of supplementation. And so Zango Eris is a tripartite problem, uh, product that has healthy things in it. They were very careful to use everything that they possibly could that was going to be beneficial and not harmful, and it is effective. It was tested. There were many kinds of uh, trials that were done beforehand, and the statistical assessment of the results is where they got those figures that you have seen on the screen. Now, do I think that it's a good product? Yes, I do. The, does it have a natural appeal? Well, you know, I'm on the leading edge of the baby boomers. This is that uh, group of people that have gone through the uh, century and this century kind of like a, a, a in a python. That you, you see this group of people as we are and the effects of aging become more and more apparent, we're highly motivated in our society to look different than nature wants us to look. And this, in my opinion, is about the best thing that you can find to put around your eyes to diminish the signs of aging and to appear younger and more vital. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Dr. Templeman. As usual, absolutely awesome. Love to get the information. The more we hear, the more we learn, and that's really exciting. I've got a couple questions in the Q&A. If you've got some questions for Dr. Templeman, please put those questions in the Ask a Question box and not in the chat so that we make sure that we can see him. First question, how can we emphasize in a few words why all three products are necessary? People see what the gel does and they just want that. And they just want that. Well, that's kind of like being over a flaw. Uh, certainly, the effects of the gel are immediate and they can be seen even if someone is not doing the necessary things to build up the structure inside. But when you think about repairing, you want to go down to the hard material. You want to be able to get things right underneath before you start to paint just the surface and to give a superficial appearance. The gel is like a cosmetic, and it is not going to do a substantial good at changing the underlying product problem. So drugs which only reduce the symptoms, the gel is going to reduce the appearance temporarily, but if you're not doing anything to build the structure under then the is the temporary effect of the gel. Thank you, Dr. Templeman. I noticed that myself, the gel gives you that quickie, but as I was using the I used it, the more amazing, and it's, it's the collagen building up for sure. Um, I've got several questions in the question box. I can see some in the chat box too, and I get this a lot from people who are going for Botox injections. So first of all, let's talk about Botox and what that really is and is doing to the body. Secondly, people who are committed to the Botox and like to do that, is this something that would be helpful to do in addition to, or should they really be talked about replacing the Botox? Now, as I told you, currently I am the medical director of uh, a couple of medical spas here. And we obviously do Botox injections. Now, what is Botox? Well, it's actually a toxin, uh, botulinic toxin, that uh, has boiled food. It used to be very, very dangerous. But in extremely small amounts and injected into relatively uh, structures that are relatively close to the surface, it causes paralysis of the muscles. And so the muscles, which are the tissues up and down on our face, are paralyzed. And they just literally cannot contract. And when you can't contract, the uh, evidence of contraction of the skin is going to droop. Now, it looks like you really lose a little bit of the and it becomes a question of whether you want to do Botox or not. Now, I know that Richard loves Botox. He does it all of the time. And I don't think that that's necessarily wrong. There are people who have an interest financially in spots. It's sad to see that there are people who want to use Botox. But it's not anything that provides permanent relief to go in and have it. And literally, I'll ask you, would you want to parallel of expression around your face in order to be able to get some benefit. I think if there was another way of doing it, most of us would agree that it would be better to do something else. Now, there's another question here. It says, I injured my back in June after lifting something that I, that I should not have. And I'm uh, having real problems taking the collagen drink and a reload. Now, reload is the uh, Zango product, which helps provide some of the elements which stimulate the uh, restoring uh, work that goes on at night when you're to give you um, your muscles start to rebuild at night when you're sleeping. That's the time that we have our growth hormone. And he says, after using the reload and the collagen, he had no more back pain. Well, remember this. 
the body, remember I told you that we're trying to let the body know that we're into the reconstruction business around the eyes in order that the body will bring the raw materials to the place of construction. The body looks after itself. If you have trauma, if you hurt your back, tore the muscles, maybe did something with the ligaments, that is going to be screaming messenger molecules to the rest of the body saying, hey, we've been hurt here. Now, if you are loaded, if you are loaded with type 1 collagen, there are 16 different types of collagen in the body, but type 1 comprises about 75%, and it's what we find in bones and in muscles. So that when you send out the signal, hurt here, and you happen to have been loaded with collagen, why would the body not take it to that area of acute trauma and use it for the repair things that are in need, perhaps at the expense of the eyes, because something else going on that's more acute. So I guess the question behind this question is, is the collagen beneficial for something other than the eyes? And the answer is absolutely. These are the building blocks of muscle, of ligaments, and when you have something going wrong in your body, you can supply to your body the raw material that it needs to in repair mode. Thank you. And a couple other questions about Botox. How much is Botox, and how often do you have to do it? How long do those results last? And then let's compare it to doing Eris in addition to, and then maybe being able to replace it and not have to do that any longer. Okay. The average bill for someone who comes in for the procedures that are done in a medical spa is $1,500 per visit. So that's really, uh, that, now that's top end because in the medical spas where I work, that includes some of the products that they will take with them plus the procedures that they may undergo, such as Botox. But Botox doesn't last for a long time. And we have return customers that come in and get their Botox injections every three months, four months, five months. It is variable depending on the individual and their choice of, of how much wrinkling they will tolerate. So it costs a lot of money to do the repair work in a superficial way, because that's unfortunately what happens in a medical spa. And uh, it would cost much less to be engaged in providing the body with the things that it needs. And the companies that produce these fillers, which go into the face in areas of aging, or the Botox, these companies recognize that this is not the ideal way to actually do repair work. And so these same companies are heavily engaged in the research of how they can find other injectables besides fillers, which are foreign to the body, and besides Botox, a mild toxin in the body, they're trying to find the things that they might be able to get into either through a systemic manner like the collagen drink or through injectables to be able to find a better way and a more permanent way of helping people with the signs of aging. Great. Dr. Templeman, we've had a lot of testimonials that have come in, and I've got one here in the, in the chat box. Uh, he says, I injured my back in June after living something, lifting something I should have had help with and did. After taking the college, collagen drink and the reload for two days, no more back aches. I also heard uh, stories from people that have had itis, I call it anything itis, arthritis, juvenile arthritis, that have always struggled with it and have found some relief in being able to get by with, with mangosteen juice, and but not gone, gone. Um, people are saying now that they've had issues, joint issues, that they are getting tremendous results from. Let us know how that's happening and how long we think that might happen. Well, we always have to be careful because the kind of research that the government, the FDA, and the other regulatory authorities require in order for us to be able to talk about any supplement as being a cure, a treatment, uh, or anything of that nature does not exist, and it will probably never exist because of the cost 
the manner in which those studies are done. So we have to be careful about what we say about itises when they are diseases. However, know this, when the body is struggling with inflammation, Inflammation can be a generalizable thing that's very good in the short term and very bad in the long term. I recommend it for my patients that they should give their body the elements which are in the mangosteen, which are natural anti-inflammatory. Let the body do with it as it wishes. And again here, when we start to have problems that are related to structural things in the body, and look at it from the point of view of a nutritional intervention, what we be able to do to give the body more of what it requires to be able to repair a full range of insults that may be occurring, not only because of aging, but because of trauma or many other things as well. Well, thank you, Dr. Templeman. If we don't have any other questions, we're going to close this up. It's very awesome to be able to finish this webinar in under an hour. We will make this available for all of you to share uh, with others. So we do have a YouTube channel, Zango University does at youtube.com forward slash Zango University. So look for that. There's also a Zango University Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Zango University. So make sure that you that page, like the page so you'll get notifications when new things are posted. And when this webinar is updated and uh, available and uh, exported as a uh, video, we will absolutely post that on the Facebook page so that you can then share with other people. Um, Zango, for those of you who are guests and who are new and are taking a look at this, you've got a lifetime ahead of you of amazing products and experiences that you could engage in because this is a wellness company who is committed to products. There's a line of anti-aging products that will help that many of us have been using for 13 years. And the more of these products that you engage in, like the Zango Juice and others, the more you're going to experience a very healthy, very vibrant life and truly um, can live the life of your dreams. So, Templeman, would you just close us up with some final thoughts you'd just like to share with all of us today, tonight, and then we'll close up the webinar little humorous story. I was talking to a group of women and we were discussing, uh, in fact, the problem of wrinkles. And one lady said, you know, when I was younger, I had a lot of wrinkles. But as I kept eating and gaining weight, the wrinkles disappeared. And not the best way to get rid of wrinkles. She laughed. She was, she was making a joke. But in fact, there are things that we do lifestyle that are as important, more important than the actual supplementation that we go through. And long ago, from the very first time that I talked about supplementation, we understood that optimal health was a result first of a proper diet, secondly of proper activity or exercise, and thirdly of the proper choice of supplements to make sure that the body had what it needs. Now, I don't present or allow my, I actually consult for other companies, but I do not allow them to use my name and I don't uh, publicize products because there are elements that have to do with integrity that I believe are respected in the Zango company, the way that they do business that may not be the case in and therefore I have talked about the Zango products. I am not a Zango employee. I am simply here on, on a, uh, um, a mission to be able to answer the questions that the customers of this company have. And I don't know of another company that provides a doctor's services to be able to answer those questions. So I think this is a pretty special company. I agree with you. One more question that came in I'm going to go ahead and ask because I get this all the time myself too. Um, and that's what's the best time to take the collagen. And other questions about it is um, it says to take it on an empty stomach. What is the reason for that? And then is it beneficial to take more than one serving of collagen per day? I would say yes, it is. But I would split the dose. I wouldn't simply double the dose. The idea in my mind is about two hours before you go to school. 
The reason for two hours is that you don't want anything in your stomach when you're lying down. That can cause problems with regurgitation and other things. So you don't want to eat or drink, really, two hours before you go to bed. And the reason that you want to take it in the evening is because when you are asleep, that is the time of greatest activity other than immediately in the two hours after exercise when the body begins to repair proteins in the body. So you want those blood levels to be high at the time that the reconstruction is going on, at night in the deepest level of sleep under the influence of growth hormone. You do not need to ever signal the body that uh, that, that amino acids are there. That's the way we coat minerals, cover them with amino acids because the body's extremely avid for amino acids. And so you don't need a meal to sort of coax things across the uh, barrier into the bloodstream when you are giving just amino acids. The body recognizes that it's a wonderful little snack and it will, it will pick it up distance of a meal as is necessary with certain other things. Wonderful. Thank you. And one last question, and we are going to close it up before the hour is up. Is the cream effective without the collagen drink? Less effective. Effective, but less effective than with the collagen drink. Think about it. You're taking something that can go through the skin and work topically, but you are not providing all of the building blocks reconstruct underneath at the deeper levels. All right, well, thank you so much, and everybody, thank you so much for joining us. If you're a guest and this is the first time you've taken a look at Sango, please make sure that you check everything out with Sango. Find out about the team of people that the person who invited you to this webinar has to work with. Find out about the the million dollar earners in Zango who are mentoring the next generation of Zango leaders. Find out how you can get in on one of the next trips that Zango, annual trips that you could actually start qualifying for tomorrow. Find out and learn about our plan, learn about our products, learn about the systems and the tools and the training. Learn about all of that because if you're looking for something to make a change in your life, I can tell you this, I've been in this industry for 26 years. I have never seen a company like Zango. I am so privileged to be a part of it, and I'm so grateful for you for taking the time to join us to more about it. Thank you, everybody. Please get back to the person who invited you to this webinar.